Satya Nadella is confident that the Activision Blizzard deal is going to pass. All right, guys, before we get into this, I have four months to hit my goal of 10,000 subscribers. I see a lot of you are new to this channel. If you are, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy this video. So this generation of gaming, I think, is going to go down as being defined as the generation of mergers and acquisitions. We've seen so many of them from Microsoft, but not just Microsoft. We've seen them from PlayStation. We've seen them from Tencent, the Embracer Group. And it's just continuing as we go through, as we recently even heard Phil Spencer say that they are still looking to acquire more studios, even after the Activision Blizzard deal. Now, we know what's been going on with the Activision Blizzard deal. There has been pushback so far by these market authorities, particularly the UK market authority, when they are trying to look and see if this acquisition is going to hurt competition. And the main reason they're looking into this is because Sony has been pushing back and telling all of these authorities that it isn't a deal that should go through. It will hurt competition and nobody's going to be able to compete with the likes of Call of Duty being owned by Xbox once the deal passes through. Has people wondering if this is in any way going to stop this deal from going through? I think the consensus right now is that this is just kind of the natural thing that happens with such a massive deal, a $69 billion deal. These market authorities do have to do a thorough investigation. And when it comes to Saudi and Adela, what he thinks about what is going on, he seems very confident that the Activision Blizzard deal is still on track and that everything is going to pass. So he responded in regards to the in-depth regulatory probes that the UK are doing for Activision Blizzard and Xbox. And he says, of course, any acquisition of this size will go through scrutiny, but we feel very, very confident that will come out. And when it comes to Microsoft right now, when you look at the top companies within gaming in terms of revenue and all that type of stuff. Microsoft is either number four or number five in, in the competition right now in the video game industry. And the number one player is the Sony group. So he says this in response to Sony talking about competition. He says, so if this is about competition, let us have competition. Essentially saying, if you guys do really care about gamers, you do really care about competing in the video game industry and giving gamers the best choice and having different options on where they want to play games, then you should be okay with this deal going through because you're number one right now. And if you read in between the lines, he's also looking and talking about how Sony does tons of anti-consumer things that does hurt competition. They do their best all the time to make sure that they are always on top and they don't care about any other ecosystem. They don't care about any other gamers unless they are within the PlayStation Network. And I mean, they are a business. That is their goal. But when it comes to competition, Sony, if they had it their way, they would be stomping down and crushing out any competition out there. They don't actually care about competing with these companies. They just want to make sure that they're staying at number one. And Call of Duty being owned by Xbox is going to hurt them a lot. And it may eventually make them fall off from being the number one player. In fact, even after the acquisition of Activision Blizzard, it says here that the combination with Activision, which owns franchises such as Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, and Guitar Hero, it will make Microsoft the world's third largest gaming company. And those two companies that are still going to be higher than Microsoft after the Activision Blizzard deal are going to be Tencent and Sony, where Sony and Tencent have earned 81.77 billion and 73.8 billion respectively in 2020. So even after this thing goes through, Microsoft isn't going to be ahead of Sony and they're still trying to crush this deal out to make sure that they don't even come close to being able to compete with their revenues. Now, it isn't the short game that Xbox Microsoft is looking at here because yes, at the end of the day, Although they're going to be third after this deal goes through, I foresee Microsoft and Xbox overtaking Sony in terms of gaming revenue over the long haul. Not just because they've acquired Activision Blizzard, not just because they've acquired Bethesda, those will play a major role in it, but also because they have had a lot more forward thinking with their strategy. They have the better strategy right now in terms of the video game market with Xbox Game Pass. Xbox Cloud Gaming, having the, the subscription and ecosystem, which is just allowing way more people to get out and play all of their games. We even look at the new Logitech handheld that is coming out that is just going to be a streaming device that they're able to actually partner up with Logitech and put Xbox Game Pass front and center. You're going to see a lot more of that coming out. We've seen it even 
before that with the Samsung TVs, and I'm sure tons more deals, tons more things like that with Xbox Cloud Gaming are gonna be coming out in the future. So they're just trying to expand the devices that people can actually get into the Xbox ecosystem. And that's why I think even with Activision Blizzard and Bethesda out of the picture, they would still be moving up fast within the gaming revenue, but Activision and Bethesda are going to expedite that so much faster, especially when the next Call of Duty after Modern Warfare 2 launches day one, day and day and into, into Xbox Game Pass. It's going to be an explosion of people going over to the Xbox platform. And then they have all the marketing rights, which we've seen pay dividends for PlayStation since 2015, where Call of Duty has been their top money maker. And people have thought Call of Duty and they've thought PlayStation. And now that's going to completely 180 and PlayStation is going to feel the effects on this. So this isn't about staying competitive what sony is trying to do this is about trying to make sure that nobody can encroach on them being number one and nobody can actually compete with them so they've kind of poked the bear here i would say with xbox over the years and they're continuing to do it with continuously coming out and making these statements and pushing back against this activision blizzard deal microsoft is a multi-trillion dollar company they really could easily if they wanted to continue to buy up stuff, continue to use their power and wealth to be even more competitive than they currently are. And right now, Sony is, I think, taking the wrong approach to this. I think they kind of just need to stay under the radar, continue to pump out their great first party games, and then look at ways that they're going to be able to compete with Call of Duty. They got to go more along the EA side of things by looking at this as an opportunity rather than a detriment because it's not going to work out in the long run once this deal goes through. But that's it for me, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Sadie Nadella's comments. What do you think Sony is thinking after seeing this? And do you think Sony has taken the right approach by trying their best, by putting out all these statements and trying to stop the deal? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and you liked what you saw, consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you in the next video.